If you have a Squarespace website and you are walking through my pre-launch checklist, welcome back. And if you don't have a copy of the checklist, I'll drop a link below in the description so you can grab it. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set the colors for your website. So if you started with a free Squarespace template or if you purchased one of my time-saving templates, here's how to change the colors. So just like when we looked at updating the fonts for the website, colors are similar, but yet even more complex. So as we dive in, let me show you again a few different ways to access colors, because as we know, Squarespace likes changing things around. So first option is here under website. When you're logged in, you can just click styles. That will take you to the site styles. And here are your colors. Another option is to search for colors. Here we are inside site styles. And finally, another option is this paintbrush icon up in the upper right for site styles. And then we can go to colors from here. So now that we have found colors, just like fonts, there are these recommended color palettes, or we could dive right into colors. Now, as I'm showing you this, there is a bug in Squarespace at the moment. You should be able to see your palette right here. We can't today, but if I click edit palette, here are the colors in my palette. And there are five. So inside Squarespace, you get five spots for colors in your palette. Typically, this is how they work. The leftmost one is typically white or off white. The rightmost one is typically black or off black. Then you have an additional light color, an additional dark color, and an accent color. That's the way it's set up. You can definitely break that, and I'll show you a few ways how. So if we scroll down here and start clicking on some of these presets, you'll see that it just changes everything around. So for example, this one doesn't have a white. You can see the section that was white now has this kind of linen color background. We can just keep clicking around and see how these play out. But one thing that's important, you'll see that they're kind of reflected in different sections over here. So let me back out of the edit palette. Let's just stay with the palette that we have. And so here we've got our lightest color. Instead of white, it's a butter yellow. We've got a light color, which is more like a medium bluish gray. We've got our accent color, which is a teal. Our dark color, which is a dark blue. And then our darkest color, which is a very dark blue. Let me show you how those are represented here on the site. So if we go into colors, what we have are section color themes. And you can see that here we're starting off with bright two that pulls from here. And if I were to go into that, it's gonna show me everything that I can do when I use that color theme. So it's kind of crazy. There are so many things that you can do in there, but just for grins, let's look at the site title here. And if I click this, I can change the color of it just by updating it here. And same for button color. So let me scroll down here to the buttons. And I know that this is a primary button because it's used in the header. I can change the button color and the button text color. So that is something you can do. And if I had another section that was a bright two section, that primary button color and button text color would update across my website. So any changes that you make to a particular color theme, for example, lightest one, will propagate through all the lightest one sections on your website. Now, let me just show you how to get those. So I'm gonna exit out of here. Let's go back to our traditional color and I'll get out of site styles. When site styles is open, you can't edit your website. So let's go ahead and hop in and say edit now. Now, what you'll notice when I roll over any of these sections, I can edit the section and click colors and I can choose the color theme. So if I change to lightest two, you'll see my headings are now pink. If I change to light one, the background is gray. Light two, background is gray, headings are pink. Bright two, background is pink, headings and text are white. And you can just cycle through these and see how they look on your website. So for every section, even the header, if we edit the site header and we click edit design, we can choose if we want a theme for this. So it pulls directly from that color theme. So everywhere on your website, 
you are using a color theme and you get to choose what it is. So you can change it for any section at all at any time. All right, let's go back into site styles. We've looked at the colors. We've looked at editing the palette from these presets. Let me show you a few other ways to do that. And then I'm going to show you my favorite tool for creating color palettes for the website. So another way to change the color palette is to load an image. So let's say I recently had a brand photo shoot and I've got these images and I want my site to reflect the colors from those photos because they're going to be the basis for my website. I can pop that color in and Squarespace will automatically pull the palette for me. So now this reflects my image. You can also choose it from a color. So for example, we've got this accent color here and you can see the accent color stays the same in all of these, but here we've got complementary color. So this is a blue now instead of a black. We've got a green now, it's an analogous color. So you can do a lot of things here, but very often we have brand colors that we're working with. So if you worked with a brand designer or if you are creating your own brand, you will have created your own brand color palette. And one of my favorite tools for doing that is called Coolers. I'll drop a link below. And there are two ways to get started here. You can explore trending palettes. So you can find something that's close or you can just start with the generator. So sometimes I just start here. And when you click the space bar on your keyboard, it's gonna update all of these. And then if you see a color that you like, so let's say I really love this Cambridge blue, I'm gonna lock it in place. And one of the nice things is, I know that this would be considered a light color because I see dark text on it. So this would either be my lightest, which is often white, or a light color. So I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to make it my light color. I can also just type in hex code. So I want this one to be white. I'm going to lock that. Now let's keep playing. Um, let's say I want this to be a true black. I'll add that in, lock it. And now I'm looking for an accent color and a dark color. So let me just hit my space bar here until I find something that works. What if I really love this green? Let me lock that. And my accent color. Let's go Space Cadet. All right, so let's say that this is the palette I've chosen. I want to show you a few things here in Coolers first, and then I'll show you how to update those hex codes directly in Squarespace. But because Coolers is so fun, you can export this as you can share the URL with someone. It will bring them exactly here. You can save a PDF or an image. But the best part, in my opinion, is this option to visualize the colors. So when you click that, it's going to open up a palette visualizer for you, and you can see how your colors look together out in the wild. And there are also sections here. So if you wanted to just look at mobile and web user interface, that's what it would look like. I love seeing the branding. This is really fun for me. Topography, how does it look here? pattern, illustration, and you'll get a sense of your palette as a whole. And as I'm seeing it, I'm feeling like it looks a little dull, like I need something more bold in my color here. So I'm going to unlock my Space Cadet and I'm going to go rose. And let's say I want it to be just a little bit darker, a little bit brighter here. So I'm going to go raspberry. Now when I click the visualizer, this feels a lot more fun to me. And so you can get a feel for how your brand will look in different use cases. All right, let's say that this is the color palette that I now want to use. Let's, I know I've got white and black. I'm gonna grab the hex code here for Cambridge Blue. I'm gonna go back to my palette here. I've got white and black. Those are staying the same. This is becoming Cambridge Blue. This is my raspberry. I'm gonna make that hex so I can paste it in. And my hunter green. All right, and now as I scroll down, it's a completely different feel. So that is how you can change the colors on your website. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up as it helps other people discover my videos. Thanks for watching, and I wish you all the best with your website. <music>